Hey YouTube, in today's video I'll be discussing what ships that I would like to see added to Grand Peace Online. These are ships that I think would fit the game well and would also be cool to see in game. Alright, let's get right into the list. So the first ship that I'd like to see added to the game is a marine warship. I've wanted to see this ship in game for a long time now and I'm surprised that it still hasn't been added. Marine players in the game really don't have anything in terms of their ship to separate them from pirate players. I think that the marine players could do with their own ship in the form of a marine warship as this ship would have more cannons and stronger cannons than a standard galleon to make it a more powerful ship. I also think that it should have way more health to really make the point that it is far stronger than a normal galleon. Another feature that I would like to see on the marine warship if it was added is jail cells. This would be a great way for transporting pirate players without having to carry them everywhere and it can be difficult to capture and then transport pirate players to islands with actual jails so having a cell on the warship would help marine players to safely transport captured pirate players to islands with actual prisons. Overall, I think a marine warship would be a great addition to the game and would really help to create a more of a distinction between marine and pirate players. Furthermore, it would be a great opportunity to make a ship that is more useful and also cost pelly. The second ship that I want to talk about is the Puffing Tom Sea Train. Now this ship might be a little bit difficult to understand if you haven't watched One Piece, but basically it's a ship that runs on the ocean. This ship might be a little bit strange, but I think it would be a great addition to Grand Peace Online. There are many times where I want to travel between islands in game, but my ship is destroyed or I simply just want to AFK sail. And the Puffing Tom Sea Train is a solid solution to this. Players could get on the train and catch a ride to another island without having to worry about getting lost or having their ship destroyed by NPC ships. There are two ways that I could see this being implemented. As a fast travel system where you immediately get teleported to an island of your choice or as an actual train that takes you across the sea to your destination. The second option would be way cooler than the first and would make much more sense. But the first option would be way easier to implement. This would be a great opportunity for the devs to give Pelly an actual use as the Puffing Tom tickets could cost Pelly depending on which island you're traveling to. The third ship that I would like to see added is a submarine. I can already hear someone saying something along the lines of, but there are no submarines in One Piece. If this is what you were thinking, then you must not have seen One Piece because the Heart Pirate ship is in fact a submarine called the Polo Tang. And a submarine would be a great addition to the game as it would be a good way to travel without having to worry about being attacked by NPCs, ships, or other players. On that note, a submarine is a perfect escape vehicle to run away from Devil Fruit users. I think if a submarine is added, that it should definitely have torpedoes, as this would be a great way to give the ship some real offensive capabilities and would allow people in submarine to blow up galleons or other players' ships in general. The fourth ship that I want to see added is the Ark Maxim. Now this is a ship that I've been asking for for a while. For those who don't know, it's a flying ship. It's used by Enel in One Piece. Now Enel is the user of the Gora Gora no Mi and in One Piece he uses his powers to power the ship. Now if this ship was added, it would be the first flying ship in the game. A flying ship would be a great ship for wars on islands as you could launch attacks from the sky and fly away from enemies if you start to lose. On that note, it would be pretty funny to launch someone off the ship in the sky using, for example, Shigan or the Rokushiki Ultimate. It would also make sense to have a Gora user to keep the ship flying. I could see the devs making it so that it drains the stamina of the Gora user while the ship is flying, but hopefully this mechanic is balanced. I also think that when not flying, the Arc Maxim should still be usable in water, but should be relatively fast. The final ship that I want to talk about is a ghost ship. Now this is the first ship on this list that I think should be an NPC ship. Now ghost ships are pretty uncommon in One Piece, but there are a few examples of ghost ships. Notably, the ship that Brook was on when he was introduced. Now this ship had been floating in the sea for a while, despite all the crew being dead, except Brook. Now however, I don't think a bland floating ghost ship would be really worth adding. So here is how I think it could be made more interesting. I think the ghost ship should contain treasures like Pelly, rare items, treasure maps, and even perhaps devil fruits. I also think that ghost ships should spawn in rough seas as this will make them harder to reach. My next suggestion for ghost ships is really something that is optional and doesn't necessarily have to be added for ghost ships to be a good addition, but here it is. I think that skeleton pirate NPCs and a skeleton captain should spawn on these ships occasionally as a throwback to Brook and his skeleton body. 
Obviously, this isn't canon, as skeleton pirates don't exist in One Piece, outside of the user of the Yomi Yomi no Mi. However, I still think they'll make a cool addition to the game. Okay, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support my channel, then please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. All right, now that that's out of the way, I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, whatever time it's you guys, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.